Welcome to episode three of SCUP at CondoCon. Today on This American Dice, we bring you games from CondoCon in Davenport, Florida. Our GM for this game of SCUP, the sword, the crown, and the unspeakable power, is Jared. Grim is played by Ryan. Slate is played by Brett. Fellow by David. And Rook by Austin. Um, you know, well, and I would just say, I mean, it's not as a displeasure because... No, no, it's just yeah. anger, but it's like righteous yeah. anger. It's the gods being angry, which right. is, you know, you deserve it because you're a lonely worm, so it's okay. Okay. They're, they're actually showing you great favor by speaking to you. Okay. Yes. Mm. Mm. Uh, all right. All right. So we have a mission and we have a direction, or at least a, a way to go, so... Um, yeah, I think we're going to... We're going to look... Uh, try to find out what the banner of the Lost Legion is, because that's not something that I think we have necessarily heard. Yeah, well, Last Legion. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, okay, I was sure of the Lost Legion, Legion or Last Legion. Last Legion, yeah. Man, I may have said it wrong, sorry. But. No, no, you're cool. I was just making sure. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so that would be our next step. I don't if you want to go with it. Sure, we can follow it up. I, mean, I don't want to get, like... 20 minute scene and then there's like five minute scene done yeah that's not right yeah so uh, where do you where do you want to go to try to find out more about this this thing um so this obviously sounds like something that would be military yeah so um so the uh, the legion would be the the first place to go okay now I know the the actual halls are only for um, veterans ve- the veterans themselves right is there is there a place where people would go to? Because, I mean, a lot of your... I assume... It, it, I'm going to assume it's kind of like a VFW, too. Like, if one of the veterans invites you to come, like, you can come. Like, So if you can get a veteran to, to say, like, yeah, come on in, you can be escorted by one. Okay. Um, in that case, I'd like to try to see if I can either have or can make co- a contact with a member of the, the Legion. All right, and so... You, Slate, you have no relationship with Grimm, but you do know Fellow. Right. You could, I mean, you could always, I mean, you, you probably don't know anybody. I guess you could try to find somebody that was the one no, no, you don't have contact. You might, it's up to you. You might go to, you might go to Fellow, though, for this information. Yeah, I would. Yeah, that makes sense. I would go to, because it's odd, it's, it's common knowledge that, that they work together. All right. So, uh, yeah, I would go to fellow. So I would go to your large, mostly unused office. Mm-hmm. Does he, was he, would he catch you before you were out? Or? Sure. Okay. All right. So uh, it would be just me. It would be the everybody. So, um, so, so we have to approach. I mean, do you, they... You're, you come to the palace, yeah, and there's there's most likely like uh, some Doros guards, like like honor guards, and when you approach, there's something that distinguishes your order, like in your way of dress. What would it be? Well, the fact that we are dressed uh, Im- imitates the like the work clothes of Doros. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like it's like a stylized but but functional like work clothes, not you know of the like the the work. I guess the Miners, workers, something like that of the the doors. Okay, so uh, it, it's it's very. I mean, it's standard. You know, it's like all every member of the order does it. It's it's literally like the best. The best analogy would be like a lumberjack uniform. Okay, like everybody wears the same gotcha. colored plaid, the same uh, work jeans with the rip. That's the rip in the same spot. Yeah, you know that sort of thing because we just took there was one like a template. Okay, and that's what they're all based on. Okay, so so there so there there are like two like like you know like Doros guards at the front gate, and normally they're like they're like the, you know the British like you know guards just stare straight ahead and you can't phase them. But like when you show up, both of them go, and, and I mean you know this is unusual. Like they look at you, and as you get closer, they're they're like just staring at you as you approach. Um, what do I want to say? Um, um, I am. I'm trying to think of a title like a prefect or something like that of the order. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll do prefect or that. So, uh, and he's he's uh, obviously a little, I say shy, but he's a little. Uh, he doesn't like talking, you know, because he's below. He considers himself below them. So yeah, uh, you could be a journeyman. I'm okay. saying that like, same thing. Yeah, like, right. Yeah, like, Journeyman um, Slate to uh, to see the uh, 
the uh, uh, fellows, um, Doros fellow, please. It is convenient. Fellow was extremely busy, and he may not have time in his schedule today for you. I will wait until he's until he's ready. Please, please let him know. He may not be ready today, as I, I heard that he had to go. He's already had meetings with your kind, and um, perhaps you should come back tomorrow. I will wait. If it's still tomorrow, I will wait till tomorrow. All right, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say you're 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 threatening to annoy the shit out of him by staying here <laughs> yeah. all day. So you're trying to persuade him with leverage. Okay. Um, if you want, you could also dump an honor and take plus one four. Do you know who I am? If you want to do that, no, because to he's persuade with leverage. No, because I'm thinking he's. You did mention you were a prefect, I so am. that's why I thought maybe you, you would want to No, do that. I'm thinking he's not trying to make a big deal about that okay. part of it. It's more, he just wants to get in there, he's willing to do whatever to, you know, to stay there. So I'll just do the uh, Persuade with Leverage. That's Wiley, right? right. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's another 11. Oh, Jesus. All right. It's literally you the same. your offerings. Do what you say. All right. For PC target. No, it's not a PC target. Um, all right. Okay, so yeah, no problem. Like they 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 they, they look at you, and, and and one of them like they just wait like about a minute, and then the other one's like, he's not gonna leave, and the, and the, and the other one says, all right, I got this one. And he's like, come on, this way, and he, he leads you he leads you to the door, and like there's a slight like slump in his shoulders, like you've defeated him in some way, like he like he's like he's like, you know, um, but he but he 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 bends to your will, you know. He goes to the door, and you hear a rapping on the door, and one of Doros' guards dugs his head, and he goes, eh. um, one of the, would, you have, would there be a derogatory term for, like, people who are imitating you all the time, or? They're poor face. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> on those lines. False beards. Mm. He'll actually, he'll actually walk in and close the door, because he's really, oh, do you have one? I think false beards. Yeah, it was pretty good. He, he, he kind of, he kind of walks up, and he's like, eyebrows is, um, my lord, a false beard wishes to see you. I tried to put him off, but he said he would wait all night long until you were available. Well, I told you not to use that term here. <laughs> oh, I'm, Please I'm find sorry. Please send him in. Oh, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just didn't want to trouble you, sir. Uh, so he heads back in, and he's like, um, go ahead. He's, he seems eager to, to see you. Um, waves you in, and then closes the door behind you, and there you are. And fellow, you recognize him, and... Um, uh, sir, fellow, um, I have a request. I know, I know you'll be able to help with. You're always been so helpful to uh, to all of us. So so gracious of you to say. Thank you so much. Well, um, I know. It's well known that you work with the uh, the Legion uh, through your um, through the Viceroy. I just have to find out a, um, an, about an, uh, an item that is very important to our order that we just found out about that uh, is required for something that uh, I have been tasked with. And I was wondering if you could check or maybe introduce me preferably to somebody in the uh, Legion organization so I can find out if they have any knowledge of this item. Hmm. And, and which item are you looking for? It is. He looks. He just. I mean, there's obviously nobody here. He still looks around because it sounds to him like this is an item, you know, from before, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's the the banner of the wa- the last legion. I don't think I don't know if I've heard of that one. Right, but I, I wanted you to so I could talk to the Legion themselves. Since the name is so similar and it sounds like a military so Well um, Are you are you sure this is needed? I'm not so I don't know if they uh I forgot what I said. Uh, are oh, sure? are you sure this is? Are you sure this is necessary? 
Oh, it is. It is absolutely uh, beyond necessary. We had a. Uh, I, I had a meeting with the uh, the council of Pantheon, and I was. This is a direct result of of that interaction. So this is this is not even something for. Uh, Discussion. This is an absolute requirement, and we need to. I need to find out what this is as soon as. Yeah. Want to say humanly possible? Okay. As soon as humanly possible. I mean, I can wait. I mean, I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll just stay here as long as I need to, right by your side. Yeah. Practice extreme waiting. <laughs> Well, mm. well, I I do have to talk to them soon. I could I could ask them if they've heard of this. Well, but, you know, I don't know if they if they kept a lot of these keeps. In. No, no, I'm not. I, I, I'm sure it's, it's. I'm sure it's not your fault. It's, I'm not explaining this. What what I want as much as I or as well as I could have. If you could just give me an introduction, and so I could meet and just talk to somebody from the Legion briefly. Uh, Doesn't have to be anybody high up. I just need to. I mean, if I can just get invited to the hall so that I could, you know, talk to some of the members or, you know, and, and I will ask myself, I don't want to trouble you. This is not, it's not anything you need to trouble yourself with. I will take this as my responsibility to accomplish. I just want, I just need help to get started. And that's obviously, and I mean, after all, that is what you do, isn't it? It's help people help themselves. <laughs> Um, if I, maybe that, you yeah. happen to be do you I mean you deal with the Legion all the time or at least often right uh, yes and like I said I was talking I was going to talk to them soon well, I can just go then. I mean, if you're going to talk to them soon, I'll just I'll just go along. You mean I don't have to do anything? I'll just be right there by your side until you, until you talk to one of them, and I will just ask a few questions. Well, Slate, you're you're just such a gentle soul. I don't know. There there's some rough customers. I think you, you need to be absolutely careful if you go there. All the more important why you should not be in a situation where you could get harmed. Then I think I definitely need to stay by your side. If you're, if you're going to be dealing with some sort of rough customers, I mean, obviously, Doros would not be a concern to anybody. No, no, I, I'm, we're in agreement. I think that I just want to uh, whisper counsel into your ear that you need to be very careful about this. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're, you're so I, it looked like it was on the edge of like you were trying to persuade with leverage, but you're acceding to his demands, but you want to manipulate it in some way. Is that what you're saying? Like, you're like, all right, I will take you to meet people. But I'm gonna throw like let's spin a caveat on it. Like like you know, is that what you're doing with the voice? Uh, yeah, I was trying to whisper counsel into it. But to what what extent? What do you want it to do? If you if you were to succeed, what do you want it to do? Um, well on a PC it's just it, it fits out it fits pretty well. I just get hold on you theoretically. Okay. And then if whenever you do things that please me I can give you an XP. Go for it. <laughs> do it. Sounds good. Holy crap, crap. wow. <laughs> Boxcars. Two hold in that case. All right, man. You have an assistant. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, specifically, um, you can spend the hold to give you an advancement point whenever you do or say something that I approve of, whether you're whether I'm present or not. Okay. All right. So it sounds like you two are then off to meet the, the warrior. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> so I wanted to say wizard right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our mage. So I want to go to you. Um, what I had in mind is that you. Yeah. I'm sorry. What's, what's Rook up Rook. to? Rook. Yeah. Rook. I'm sorry. I'm going to go to. Rook. I want to go to Rook. Um, and you are actually in your your camp, which actually kind of looks like a war camp right now. Like for the okay. first time in a while, like you actually have tents. Mm-hmm. 
which is pretty cool. As opposed to just like a, a like a pit with fire in it, you know. Um, so you're in your tent, and you actually have a small table and like a bench and like a chest, and maybe you're going over some like documents. You're like, wow, this, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like a bit of a war leader. Um, and your second dirge will will uh, lean in. Is uh, there's a there's some woman here to see you. And I, I think he uh, he kind of like looks around and is like she doesn't look like she's from around here. She looks uh, clean. <laughs> and uh, I think Rook kind of makes a face like like huh? And I think um, I think we've kind of been like partying a bit. And yeah. So I think like he's like maybe he's like a little drunk. Mm-hmm. And like, like gives kind of like the what? Yeah. I don't know she she came in and she said she needed to talk to you right away. Uh, the time is of the essence, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, she's good looking, so I figured you want to talk to her. Here, let's go. And so he basically is like, oh, we'll go, like, we'll go talk to her wherever. So are you going to step outside the tent then and yeah. talk to her? Okay. So you step out, and she's like a, like a few yards back from the tent's, uh, tent flap. Um, you know, and so there's a, you probably have a lantern, like, kind of shining out through the tent. And so you could pin up the side of it so, like, the light's shining out. And uh-huh. then there are like scattered campfires where your men are kind of sitting around, and they're like all to kind of like, drink. But it's it's yeah. winding down, like the party is over. Um, and uh, Dirge is like just he just the more he drinks, the sadder he gets. So he's, okay. he's the only one that's kind of still up. Um, and yeah. uh, and there's only like twenty of these guys, so it's not like a massive yeah, it's army. Not, yeah, yeah. By, and by any well, standards, I always say that there's some peasants in. Like you've got people okay, flooding other, in from outside, so they're yeah, like, so kind of carousing with those camp other followers folks. and stuff that you've, oh, you've attracted. Turn? What was the yeah, term we used earlier? Followers. Camp followers? Yeah. Yeah. You, you actually put up with camp followers. Like, I've got camp followers. This is, this is pretty yeah. interesting. Um, all right. So uh, so there's a... there's a, And she is cleaner. Like, um, it's almost like a Monty Python thing. We're like, you must be a king. Isn't it? She, well, yeah. like, I, was, I was thinking exactly that, too. Right. Um, so she she's wearing, like, a nice smock that's clean. Um, and she's got, like, a kind of demure, like, sort of, like, covering for her hair. A little bit peeking out, but just, you know, kind of like her, her modesty. Um, and she, she steps up to you. And uh, Deirdre is still standing there. Let's dismiss him. She goes, I am I'm Lanny. I am a serving woman in the palace. You, we have heard of your cause there in the city. And I wish to tell you that there are many of us who are sympathetic to your group. Now, we have been planning something for some time. We're planning to strike back against the beards. We intend to do so soon, with or without your assistance. But if you wish, we can leave a gate open. If you can bring your men in, and you can assist us, uh, we would have a greater chance of success if you were to help us. But if you don't, we're prepared to do what we can anyway. Mm. I think, um, I think Rook kind of disinterestedly kind of like nods along with what she's saying, but he's trying to like figure out like as his head is swimming, because again, he's a little drunk, um, like if she seems sincere. Okay, she'll step up like as you kind of like, uh, and she like slaps you like in the face. And she's like, I mean what I say. We are going to put our lives on the line. We are pristine. We know that you sometimes serve the people, and sometimes we believe you serve your own interests. But this is your chance now to strike a blow for the pristine. Where do you stand? And again, do do I think that she's being sincere? Okay, so study yeah. person. Yeah, that's what that's what I think I'm trying to go for. Like I'm trying to yeah, figure out like we'll is fly. she is she like is she for real here? I got snake eyes. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. On a miss, ask one question and the MC gets to make their hard move as well. Oh, okay. Weird. That's a very different one from this regular apocalypse world. I'm gonna miss ask one question. Yeah. So does the the, the, equivalent, the equivalent of oh, I'll ask. Uh, what are you leaving out? What are you leaving out? All right. Um. Uh, 
What is she leaving out? Um, you have the impression what she's leaving out is the need for the immediacy. Mm-hmm. That she's on a timetable, and you think it's because of something going on in the palace that she doesn't want to tell you. Okay. Probably about, like, like the, the door's plans. Um, mm-hmm. And it's something that threatens her, not you. Okay. You feel that as long as you spend your time in the in the in the surroundings, your power grows. You know, you keep stealing more stuff, getting better arms and armor, attracting more followers, and she's like, hurry things up, and you're like, why? Like, why? Why would I? Like, you have a feeling. Why would I do that? And it must be because something going on with her that she doesn't want to talk about. It's it's her her shit with her fact with the pristine, and you're not technically. You're I mean, you're with the pristine, but yeah. you're separate from them too. Okay. You know? So I think I think Rook's response to this is kind of this this uh, like uh, like kind of shitty response response to that, and I think even like more so like basing it on like the role that like failed. I am one of I am one of the people. I was born I was born here, and they weren't. Were you born here? I'm one of the people. I serve in my own way. And I think he just tries to make out with her. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. She like she jerks away like that. She pulls she pulls back away from her. Unless you want to try to force her. No. Um, she'll I she'll want to get to that point, but she'll pull she'll pull back and she's like we feed you. We shelter you. What do you grow? What do you build? We do all that for you. And what have you given us in return? You do this thing for us. We are tired of taking care of you and your men's needs. So at this point, she's calling the faction is calling upon you. Okay. We want you to come in and do this thing. She has no hold on you at all. Yeah. So you can straight up, she can straight up refuse if you want. Um, and I think with a hold, there's no like kind of, um, there's no kind of, hold on, let me find it. Um, brother. All right. So I'm gonna say, like so basically to do this you can you can roll and add, and spend zero to three honor on a ten plus nothing like it doesn't mean anything on a seven to nine you pick one of these things on a miss you have to take both so either you feel guilty or conflicted take what nice one forward or you seem ignoble the MC holds one they spend it to have someone you interact with heard whisperings that you can't be trusted. So you can spend honor in this to refuse this. Or you can spend no honor and just roll. No, I'll see. Or you can just accept, right? Or you can just accept and go like, all right, I'm gonna do it. And you can you can buy by the obligation. Hmm. No, you got second shot, you Uh because at this point. You know she's part of the pristine. Yeah. You know that they have their own agenda a little bit, and she's not telling you things, but you know that they like they picked her to come to you and ask mm-hmm. for this thing. Okay. Um, yeah, I think he'll just say like, he'll just say like, like, like. Oh man, <laughs> I can only use terms from like our world, but he'll be like, he's like, okay, prude. <laughs> Listen, if it's hitting them, if it's hitting them hard, that's fine. We'll do it. We'll head into the, we'll head into the city. But we don't have we don't have the people to we don't have the people to stay there. We'll get in. We'll take what we'll take what you need, and we'll get out. All right. Um, strike a blow. Kill one of the upper commanders of the Doros. I should have added that before. And yeah, she'll she'll add that caveat on. She like like that's what she's looking for. Like she's what she's going to like raid the place. Like yeah. she's gonna let you in, and she wants you to take out. So we're, I'm I'm thinking like the viceroy, or fellow. Yeah, would be a would be a good one. Okay. <laughs> oh, and I think I I think he'll be like. I think he'll 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 nod he'll nod to that, but he mentions he'll mention something that he's like, like, and be like, all right, we'll, 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 all right, we'll do that. See how many, see how many of the false beards we can run into tomorrow night. The eastern gate will be unlocked after the bell strikes nine. You can enter then, if you're men. We'll make sure that there's no guard at that gate. 
These dice only go up to six toots. <laughs> Kills her. He doesn't trust her. No, yeah. No, yeah, he's, he's, yeah. Um, I misread it. It was the other way around. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's, yeah. he's like, no, right. Okay, she takes off. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and Dirge walks up and is like, and he just did, he like points at her and is like, prude. Yeah, he just says like some judgmental thing. He just shrugs. Mm-hmm. Um, any follow up? Uh, like anything you want to do afterwards with your men or? Yeah, I think he'll try to like call the guys together and just basically, <laughs> just yeah, again, stagger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the thing is like a lot of them are pretty. <laughs> Drunk, and so like you know, Dirge is not that drunk. So yeah, like so he'll, he'll drag these guys in. He'll get like the most of the. There's only like twenty of them, so get the six most sober dudes here in yeah. the room. Um, and yeah, he'll try to tell them like, like tomorrow we're gonna hit. We're, tomorrow we're gonna hit into the city. Our goal is to get them. Like we're gonna we're gonna hit those. We're gonna hit them where they are. We're gonna hit them where they're richest. We're gonna we're gonna stick our hand right in their pocket. Fuck yeah! I mean, you've got loyalty yeah. right now. They're like activated. They're well armed. They're feeling like this is this is the time. Yeah, and I think that he, I think he's gonna like whip up some of the like, like um. Oh, ooh, he's gonna bring some family shit into this, stuff. <laughs> and he's gonna say like, and he's like, those motherfuckers who, those motherfuckers who uh, work for the work for the shorties, those false beards. We're gonna show them. We're gonna take what we're gonna take what we can, and uh, and we'll have we'll have we'll have time to shave we'll have time to shave those faces when the heads are back here at the end of the day tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Shave their faces. Cut off their balls. Yeah. And, they're all like and one guy yells, "Shave their balls!" <laughs> and it's like, what? Ricky, you've missed the point. I didn't say that. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> All right, they're, they're totally on board. They're, like, they're excited, and yeah. they're like, cheering, and some of the guys similar are like, what the fuck? And they're like, we're going to kill some people. Yeah! Like, yeah they're all excited. So I think, I think he pushes this to these guys as like, this is where there'll be something to get, but to Rook, personally, this is this issue of the stuff that that dude that he beat the shit out of earlier got to him. Okay. And so like, he, like, he, like, he wants to do something to prove to himself that he is this thing that he's associated with. Yes. Yeah. I get that. I get that. Remember, your yeah. uncle got famous. Why? Well, cut off dwarf, uh, uh, Chief Dwarf's head. Hey, hey baby. <laughs> it's a run, it'll run in the family. Yeah. Oh, get an axe. Get an axe just like oh, your uncle Oh, boy, oh, boy, yeah. Or better yet, rent your uncle's axe along with his arm. Hi. <laughs> I love, I love Dave over there. His fellow, like, yeah, okay, this dwarf hating's all right. It's okay. <laughs> I'm one of the, the nice guys. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> this, this racist populism you're whipping up is, is not pleasant. <laughs> So I, I think we have to go to the scene with the three these three guys at his house. So you, what, what do you want? Because you're going to be in control of this setting the scene, I think, with, me, um, with these, three, these two other characters. You guys are just like outside of a house, right? Yeah, I was going to just be like in your house already, but now since I'm bringing someone with me, I think I'm just like waiting by the door. All right. What's your house look like? Um, it is a... Um, it's probably he lives in a in what he owns, too. It's a tenement. And he basically lives on the bottom floor of a tenement with, like, people that live above him. And he kind of somewhat keeps up the place as okay. best he can. Kind of rents it. He's like a super... Right. And okay. that's, like, that's, that's part of his, like, many jobs that he does to kind of balance books and keep, keep himself in work. And he, he gives it out to a lot of the, the veterans for cheap rates and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's not, a, it's not a real fancy place, but he's got a bigger place than most, you know, people live in tenements do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, if you guys are just standing out front of it, like I said, he walks up, he's got blood like splattered on him and his, his fists are just covered uh, in it. And he basically just walks past you, opens the door, but he leaves it open and he just, he's just walking into the, the room. Mm-hmm. And he heads over like a wash bowl and he starts like washing his, his, his hands off and stuff like that. Now you're, I mean, we don't have any relationship or anything, but I, uh, I literally have a relationship with your group. Of, we don't even know who the hell you are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but would are you 
Are you somewhat? I mean, you're pretty well known, right? Yes, in, I, I'm very well known. So I would probably know who you are by looking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, I have a thing for this. I don't know if everyone's got this, but these guys do. Um, or what the gauntlet does. It, I have a thing called calling card, which literally, like, when you walk into my house, there's a big fuck off axe like on the wall of dwarven make, and it basically says, if you have that thing, everyone knows who you are automatically. Okay. Because it's your thing. Does Grim carry that around with him as his right? No, now? right now it's like up on the wall, basically. Like, um, if, yeah. if he's walking around with it, you know it's your ass. Yeah, like, yeah, like, you know on the warpath. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. He, so usually, he doesn't need it to take care of most business. Uh, so in that case, when you so after you go in and start washing up, he's gonna fall. He's gonna go right after you, and he just like leaving you there if you hesitate at all. Uh, and he's. Uh, <laughs> Griff. <laughs> Who are you? I am Slate of the Order of Deepak. <laughs> it starts giggling. And yes, it's like, dang. Oh, all right. I need your I need your assistance. It's flashing water in his face. I need to find something called the Banner of the Last Legion. I assume I know what that is. Yeah, it was the Legion you fought in, and then something happened to the banner. It was, it was, it was so lost. did we actually not know where it is? Yeah, it was like the, the lost eagles from the Roman Legion. I, I, I was like, God damn it, is that exactly what he's referencing? Yep. <laughs> okay. The Parthians, so, God damn it, it was the Parthians the whole time. So the banner of the lost Legion is lost? Uh, he, <laughs> I don't know. The last uh, Legion uh, is lost. Yes, it is the lost legion. Well, it's the lost. It's the law. Lo- yes, the lost <laughs> banner of the, the last, last legion. legion. Where's the last place you saw the lost legion's last banner? It was Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, are, you're not answering any of this, though. You yeah, just know. He, okay. he asked a question, and I'm yeah. just like, I don't know where it's at. I, I would like to uh, study a person. Okay. <laughs> uh, Again, <a> six. <laughs> it's a total miss. Yep. Uh-oh. I get to ask a question, but the MC gets to make their move as well. Yep. The first time you act, um, on the information you gain, you get a plus one. Yeah. Those. So. So I guess the question is, how would I get your character to tell me? What you know about the the uh, the banner? Um, you would have to. Well, fr- it's location. Sorry, sorry, but go ahead. Okay, um, you would have to frame it in a way that. Um, is trying to establish like this will only bring like like peace and like calm and like you know that kind of a thing like it, it's not going to rabble rouse in essence like okay. you'd have to be convinced of that I think would be the, the main thing okay as you're like kind of studying and you're trying to figure this out uh, a servant comes in who's dressed considerably better than you and is cleaner than you and looks shocked because you track dirt in and it just kind of like like there's a look at you like like you are beneath this person contempt and this is a, a human servant okay of a human who serves the dwarves and 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 just kind of like 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 looks it looks at him and looks like a shame like that you're there and you just feel like the weight of like like most humans you you embarrass them okay. you know what I mean um, and, and he goes, uh, Master, is there anything I can get you? Uh, some food? Do you want me to... Do you, do you need me to, to... Give me a towel, get some food, and water and things for our guests. Yes, yes sir. Do you, do you need anything? Oh, no, I'm fine. Okay. He goes, he goes and gets a towel brings it and then he has some refreshments he just doesn't offer you like he holds he holds out like a, like a cup like there's two goblets and a decanter of wine and then some like like some food and he, he, he bows to you and well, bows to you actually guest would be first he bows to the guest yeah and, uh, I think probably fellow said that but expected this to happen so yeah he well, thank you so much right. and he, yeah he takes it to our guest manners this is Tony yeah versus the I don't care about that. I'll take it. Okay, all right. Any, is there anything else? No. 
Okay. Now that you're done. <laughs> this banner will be will bring peace. It will bring the final peace to our people. Well, if you find it, I'd like to know where it is. So you have no idea where it is? I don't. Do you have any idea of where I could find a clue even of where this banner is? There's a rumor. And when, the, when we had to, to bend our, our knee and, and take the surrender, it was smuggled so that the Legion could be raised again. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Someone's probably got it hidden out there or it got trashed at some point. I really don't care. Okay. Thank you. Smuggled sounds like contraband. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> that's like, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I know the guy. I know just the guy. I, uh, I'll tell you as you're like, hey, are you leaving? Are you walking out? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to say goodbye to, to okay. uh, As you're walking out, I'm like, I wouldn't go into the Legion looking like that. I'm not going into the Legion. That's good call. Um, fella, thank you for your assistance. I will leave you to your business with Worm. If you uh, if you need anything as usual, let me know. Oh, of course, you'll be the first one. Thank you. And he'll leave, and you guys can do your thing. He'll, he'll like walk to the door and like. It was lovely to meet you, and it shut the door. <laughs> and then immediately turned around to you, and was like, why do you bring fucking cuts to my door? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, a, it was a personal favorite. I seemed a, a, quite a big fan of yours. Oh, Jesus Christ. Geo's events. Jumping Geo's. I assume this isn't a pleasure call. Well, no, every time I see you, it's a pleasure to me, at least. <laughs> he just gives you a look. Like, a fucking look. Fellow. <laughs> applaud that. I, can, you know, I, did anyone... Did, I, I don't know. I'm not keeping track of who's hitting their things, but that was pretty awesome. I wish I could give you an advancement off that. I guess I can. I don't know. Like, no, no, that would be arbitrary. Sorry, keep going. And oh, and the servant brought like we'll say like wine, right? Yeah. He's like, this this wine is, is so delicious. I'm so glad I'm able to have some. You know, unfortunately, I, I've heard some some tales that some of the wine recently has gone missing. I hope hope we still can enjoy the surplus for as long as possible. <laughs> He'll like hit the corner of his mouth quirks in kind of a slight smile. Like as much as he disagrees with what his nephew is doing, it's still really funny to him. Like, it's still kind of funny. Like, you know, he wants peace, he he wants the dwarves and everyone to get along, but occasionally when they get their comeuppance, it's hilarious uh, to him. He's just like, Yeah, I know. Um what if um what if I offer to pay for the wine? Would that square everything? Well, it, it would do a, a good amount, but, you know, it's unfortunate because, you know, these goblets hold this wine back so fast, but when it's spilled, it's spilled. And then if, you know, if it's really the hand that we need to talk to, the thing that keeps spilling it. If you can convince these, um, you know, this person, I mean, if you have a certain relationship with them, perhaps, that you could um Are you talking about my nephew? Is that what you're getting at? I would never say out loud that your nephew was responsible for this. I don't think we should be saying that. But no, if you know someone who could be responsible for this ultimately, then if they were if they understood the importance of, you know, this not happening again or words traveling to the certain people, I mean I can only hold it back for so long. Alright, what do you want me to do? You remember, you're the brain, I'm the fist. Just tell me what to do and I'll go and act. Well, I would never recommend discipline over someone's own family, but perhaps if they were convinced not to do this or to make things right. Well, we, <laughs> we are supposed to go out and disarm the, the populace. Why don't we go have a conversation with them? Well, that sounds great. I think we could maybe start with um, maybe your nephew, like you brought up. I think, yeah. 
that'll be fine. Are you using the voice on him? Just out of curiosity, or are you just like persuading him normally? Um, I, I'm persuaded. I said yes. Yeah, you did say yes, but the voice like allows him to do more. Like yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. He get holds hit. over somebody, and so you're like, you feel like you're dependent on. Because you did say also like you're the brains, and I'm just the fist. So it's kind of like you're like I'm gonna do what you say, and like so I want to see if he's literally maybe getting like leverage or, or yeah. But I'm also trying to get my move. There's one called like a rabid dog let out of its cage. Oh yeah, okay. and, which means when. I undertake an act of violence that someone has tasked me with. Uh, I gotcha. get a huge amount of advantage. Ooh, great, great to know. <laughs> yeah, because I think I, I was uh, trying to be subtle about it, but like, oh, just make sure um, Rook stops doing that, or like, teach him a lesson or something for doing this. So, are you are you authorizing, but uh, sort of authorizing, but not authorizing an act of violence? Uh, I think that's what I'm going for. Ooh. If, you, yeah. if you're accepting that, then that's that's one thing. Just said, tell me what to do. Like he, he's a plain talker. Like <laughs> just you know, like tell him what to do, and he'll he'll go see what he can do. Like he might take it on a slight different angle than what you're hoping for, but he's going to do yeah. something. I think if if you weren't taking it, it would be more of a persuade. But if you are taking it, then that would probably be counsel, right? Yeah. yeah. Go go for it. Okay. Shoot. This is this is the same kind of thing. If I make this, I'll get hold over you to whisper in your ear from afar, from later. Ooh, but I don't know if I did. That's a five. Six, seven. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I get one hold on you. All right. So scene. Um, you want to finish up there? Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I think that'd be good. All right, I'm gonna say it's early evening now. You have about a day before like this thing is supposed to happen, mm-hmm. so uh, I'm gonna ask if anybody has something they want to do before that's supposed to take place. Yeah, I I think Rook would want to kind of like try to surveil this gate that he's supposed to okay. go after, and like kind of like try to see like like does it seem like this is an ambush? Okay. Like it seemed it seemed like that lady was on the up and up, but does this seem like more so than an ambush? Is this a suicide mission? Right. Is this going to be a suicide mission? I'm going to say that since you're kind of working with your faction, you have secrecy with your faction. They give you like a disguise, so you just okay. like roll in, like kind of like again Robin Hood, sort of like yeah. you know dressed up as like a peasant or something. Yeah. So like I'm just a green farmer. Yeah. I'm here. And I'm on the hood. I'm so old. That's why I'm taking a long time and squinting really hard at that gate, <laughs> not counting the number of guards, just pontificating how my life has gone these years. Um, I'm going to say the exterior. Will you uh, you tell me what the exterior of the palace looked like in the old days, and then I'll find out what the, the Duros have done to it since then. So what was the, what was the palace kind of the layout in the exterior like? I assume it, it's a pretty massive complex. Um, they had a pretty intense military, so... The interior of the palace is very gaudy and over the top, but the outside is business for, for that purposes. Okay. So I assume it's got a very nice, thick, tall wall that kind of goes around it with at least four gates, probably one at each side, um, with different um, you know um, little stations that kind of run along the wall. Okay. And I assume on the in- interior of the wall... Um, there's fallback points. So it's basically like little mini forts that are inside that basically it's like the, the walls get overrun, they can fall back. You know, like, like curtain walls too, so it's like right. sectioned off so right. they can fight in certain sections and withdraw to that right. area. Okay. Right. Yeah. And that's kind of what it is. But then in the middle is this gaudy palace basically. But on the outside, it, it's business. Um, okay, so uh, what have the Duros done maybe? Have they done anything to really change the way the layout is set up or anything? Um, I feel in that case, it, like the way you described it, it seems like Pretty, they're pretty respectful of it. Like, oh, they put so much work into this. Yeah. Whereas in, in in the interior, like all this art, they're like, they were doing, they put effort into it, but under what god? Who cares? Take it all down. But yeah. in these, it's like, oh, they put a lot of effort into this to protect themselves. Therefore, it, it has was, a function. Yeah, so it's worthwhile. Yeah. It was divine labor. It, indicative of their empire, it had a, a strong exterior, but inside it was rotten and soft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I just need to be hollowed out, and now you've, you've firmed that up. You've, you, yeah. You've done a great job. Um, okay, so um, so that's the way it looks. So he described it. Uh, you're on the out exterior of the gate, and um, I guess you're just approaching and you're studying the situation? 
Sounds good to me. All right, go for it. It is a sly roll. Oh, and real, real quick, I feel this is already happening anyway, but um, we should probably start thinking about uh, wrapping up. Yeah, sort no of. problem. Uh, uh, we're going we're gonna to go to like the raid, I think. And I, yeah. stuff. I, that's I did not succeed. Yeah. I got a six. Okay. So I'm like, aha. Okay. It's, um, it, it's exactly as I remember it. The tall walls with the curtain defense. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. And it, oh wait, it, it, no. Th- this has different rules than just regular. Apartment. Yeah. On a, on a miss, you ask one question, mm-hmm. and then I get to still make a hard move, as well. That's All really right. cool. I love that. I still get that question. Kind of like that, you know. So feel forward. So what here could be useful? What here could be a useful opportunity for me? It seems like the that the, the peace has been going on for a few years now. Like really, this is this has gone well, and so if you get through the, the the outside gates, things are really lax. Like there's tight there's tight secure on the outside, but once you get in, um, the dwarves have really just have just like the, the, they're used to humans being walking around and being subservient and not causing problems, and they actually give the, the servants inside the castle a really good life. Um, those outside. They kind of have to toil, and, and they're not living a great life, but they're living a secure life. Inside, they actually have um, they actually have some comforts. So um, wow, so life of toil is a great life. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. It's our this, station. And this and this is and this just makes this just makes Rook matter at the like the the humans that work with the dwarves. Mm-hmm. Like oh, those motherfucking traitors. Okay, like, that, like that's how like that's his. Like, I, I'm taking what you what you're saying. Yeah, but he's like. God damn it. And I think that you don't mean to say it, but you actually do say it. Yeah. These fucking traitor beards, you mm-hmm. know? And at that point, like, there's a guy, like a, like a merchant, and he, he looks at him and he's like, what the hell did you just say? Oh, I just punch him in the face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, right. yeah, he just, like, snaps into violence mode. Yeah, when you punch him, like, you're like, oh, like that, and then, and then you hear, like, oh! And they're actually like a group of dwarves mm-hmm. that are at the gate, and they don't normally get involved in this. Oh, shit. I'm way closer. Yeah. You're so close, though, that they're like, hold, and they start like heading towards you. And I would say there's about like three or four of them, um, heavily armed, like mm-hmm. like just better armor than any humans have, like 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 the equivalent of full plate and like and like heavy axes. Ooh, um, and crossbows. They have crossbows too. Sure, I don't know if I can... distance by that. Uh-huh. No. You have broken the peace. Stand fast. And he's like, oh, he stumbles like he's drunk mm-hmm. to try to get in closer to one of them. And then he's just, he is going to just attack these guys. He's just going right. to go for it. Yeah. All right. So it uh, sounds like engaging yeah. combat. Absolutely. Like, he's just like, fuck it. All right. Because he just thinks like, these guys have these crossbows. I can't run away. They'll just shoot at me. Mm-hmm. So this is, this is what I got to do. All right. Roll first. Hopefully I won't get a snake eyes again. Five and a three is eight plus te- two is ten. All right. Uh, That's right. This one has this game has very different rules. All right. On so. a hit, choose one of those, and then additionally, you pick one of the following. So you can attack with vigor, you can parry their blows, you can fight aggressively, you fight defensively. But in addition, you stymie your opponent, you're impressive or dominant, or you achieve a goal. Which changes the situations. It grabs something, pushes them, blocks their entrance or exit, whatever. Ooh. I think I'm going to try to... Uh, so I think the bottom of you achieve a goal, I think I'm going to try to, um, like, throw them off the scent of the coming attack later. Okay. To, like, to be like, like oh, this was just this crazy drunk person. Okay. And um, so, like, rather than with, like, a sword, I, um... I think I like, like maybe like punch one of these dudes and slash at the other, okay. and so um, just with like a knife, okay. or something like that, rather than like a sword. Okay. And so I think I I fight defensively. Okay. Um, to just to, to try to, to try to get away. Okay, I'm gonna say that that they they probably have pretty good weapons, mm-hmm. so there'd be two harm. Plus, they're a group, which would be three harm. You're fighting defensively, so it's negative two harm, but it's still got you at one harm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and Make, you're gonna, that, that makes sense. And you're gonna inflict negative one harm. So whatever you do normally, you do negative one harm. Yeah. So I, I think it's the it's the equivalent of like like 
a, a drunk idiot yeah. flailed at these cops. But you're like you're like thing. you're like drunk fighting, like like drunken yeah. master kind of stuff. Like you you do manage to like evade most of their blows. Like you're falling this way as they swing, and they're having a really hard time hitting you. Okay, um, but they have. They just think you're a drunk. Like they yeah. have no suspicions that you're anything more than just a drunk yeah. that punched this guy. And then he just he just he just tries to run away at that point. All right. Um, I I will I will say that one of them raises like a crossbow, mm-hmm. and the other one's like, it's like it like like a fellow will have our ass. We can't shoot a drunk man on the street, and murder him in cold blood. You're like, ah, you're right, you're right, you're right. we have to rule these people. And he's like, let him go. You know, and, then, and then one of them goes like turns around and is like, sorry, old fella, and he's like picks up the guy and he's like, and, like who's like you punched and he's like, God damn, he called me a beard and he was, he was like, well, you know, it doesn't upset us, shouldn't upset you, you know, we're friends in this, and they're palling around and like like oh, they all laugh, like, yeah. let me buy you a drink, and so the dwarves go buy him a drink, and he's like something like, God damn, these guys are great, you know, we love these dwarves, the dwarves are amazing, <laughs> fantastic, only the humans hit you in the face, not the dwarves. <laughs> it's true, I've never been punched by a dwarf. Well, here's the thing: because if you did, you don't get back up. So. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna. You want to do something before the, the the night? Yes, I want to try to find um, Rook. Okay. So I am going to try to harness the unspeakable power. That sounds freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, just make sure it's okay, because I. So basically, I'll be able to tap into the unspeakable power uh, to try to harness it. Um, Way that will have a minor change, uh, minor but tangible, tangible change on the world. So would that be? Yeah, okay. that works. Yeah. All right. So with arcane, that is five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. So on a seven to nine, uh, the MC will hold one, and you may sp- and may spend it on one of the following. The power knows what you're doing and why you're doing it power asks for something minor in return or the power requests some small show of loyalty and I I had a hit so it does happen. Okay. So I've got that hold. Yeah, which I can spend later. Yep. Um, and what will happen is you you you're heading back and forth to the palace to to kiss dwarf ass or whatever you're doing. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be no. dismissive, but well, no, this is like <laughs> right after the idea was I'm heading back right after that. Meeting. Okay. So I this probably is just the way back to where I was going anyway. Yeah. So it just happens to align the chances, you know. Yeah, and running around the corner. You run right into this guy, and actually, he's in disguise, but you you just happen, like, his, his, his thing falls back, his cloak, and you're like, oh, I know exactly this guy. I've been looking for this guy. The, the power led me right to him. Yep, as it does. I mean, that's what it's there for. And you recognize him, too, because he's... Scared. He always pops up like in the weirdest freaking places. Yes. Yeah. And I think he's he's taken Rook is uh, Rook's his slate, and he's taken it back for a second. Mm-hmm. Yes. And there is, um, if possible, I think uh, if there's some sort of tangible um, uh, manifestation of the um, unspeakable power, because I have scared you with it before. Mm-hmm. So, is there a tangible like? Uh, um, okay. Um, so yeah, like a, maybe like a, like a whisper or a wind or something. Yeah, I like the whisper actually. Okay, it seems consistent with. Um, so you hear like a voice and, it, and both you hear it is like he is here that's it yeah. Rook oh you don't ever watch that man I watched that that's fine I think I think he says like um oh shit yeah, I, I think he's again he's taken aback and he's like like you 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 don't know me beard oh Rook my <laughs> my unguided fool. What are you? Listen, I need your help. Oof. Punch him too. Yeah. No. I, I think, here's here's the thing: is I think where Rook like mood is is he feels further shaken and might further lash out at this guy I'm okay with that yeah so I think I think his response is like um he goes to like uh grab Slate as like uh yeah he goes to just like grab him okay 
Yeah, so he grabs him and tries to maybe, like, throw him to the ground. Okay. Um, and he's like, and he just says, uh, yeah, he probably, like, pulls out a knife or pulls out a sword or whatever. Probably just the, the same knife. And he's like, what do you want, you beard? Um, are there people around where we are at the moment? Um, yeah. If, if, that, if that's desirable. It is. I mean, it's not, desirable, I mean not necessarily, like... Mm-hmm. Watching, the, I mean, not to like catch this, but just enough that. Oh yeah, this is very close to close by to where we just were. As far as it's, you know, it's far enough that dwarves aren't going to show up, mm-hmm. right? But there are people that could get them pretty quickly, or I get them pretty quickly. I, yeah, I think I'm trying to like drag him away in this, okay? Uh, like, 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 like along in this process, and um, and 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 in Rook's head, this won't be dragging him very far because this will go poorly and he'll kill him, right? But, so while you do that, um, Slate is going to, this is almost the inverse of what, of the, the whispers that normally, mm-hmm. you know, you've encountered. He is going to, uh, and let me know if there's a role with this, but basically I'm going to denounce you as an enemy of the unspeakable force because you're standing in my way, trying to stop me from accomplishing my mission from God. All right. If, okay. So I, I, I see there's two movements, but they, they seem less opposed as like kind of. Um, I'm not trying to. I'm not necessarily trying to accomplish anything with him. Okay. I am just. That was my entanglement. Okay. Because he is someone powerful. Oh, I'm yeah. Just denouncing him. He's, well, especially if you let him do this, if you let him force you into a private area and you denounce him, he definitely has power over you. You gonna, you gonna let him, or do you want to try to like resist and try to stay in public? Um. I'm gonna resist uh, trying to stay in public. I but I as I denounce him. But yeah. Okay. So well, I will definitely resist. Roll, it. roll, roll steady to try to face duress. Like you yep. want to try to like not go with him so you can keep this in a public place. Uh, oh shit. Well, f- fucked the no about yep. that then. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, shit. Um, I wanted to see if it says specifically says okay. You don't get what you want. Um, in fact, um, can I throw out a suggestion? Yeah, go for it. Um, like he starts to he starts to say like 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 he starts to do like a denunciation, right? Like 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 to speak this stuff. And I think that he um, that Rook just um, like sees that there are some other people and just kind of like elbows him really hard okay. and like he briefly knocks out where he can just weekend at Bernie's him away yeah. from a group and then get him kind of like where he's more alone where it's like there's not a crowd of people yeah. around and so like like Rook's kind of got this dude alone yeah like off in the woods near where his horse Vandal is I will also say as part of my like my hard move on you is that people see this and go, fuck, I didn't see anything. Like, they turn around, they're like, I don't oh. want any part of that problem, that trouble. <laughs> like, we just didn't see, well, who who got elbows in the face? You know, they just turn around <laughs> and don't it's hear it. it. Yeah. Ooh. I wonder why we lost the war. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he, he drags you over to where you're, the horse is, and you're, and you're like, now you're like, oh, shit, he's got me over here. And, and like, you know, like, you also notice, like, people just turn around and, like, like we're not going to step out of line for one of those guys. Like, because they know they, they've identified your order, and they're kind of like, no, no, we're not, we're not going to risk our necks for one of those beard lovers. Okay. All right. Yeah, and um, yeah, I think at this point, like, uh, you're, you're stunned, but you're recovering now. Like, you're like, oh, okay. yeah, for sure. Yeah, he didn't okay. like. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're no. not harmed. He just drags you. He drags you out to where there's nobody else around. So yeah. much. And I think at this you point, like he hadn't had the sword, like his sword with him, but it was like on the horse. And so now at this point, sure. he like takes out the sword, and he's like, and he's like, "You denounce me! You denounce me! I didn't denounce you. That was oh. the whole point of that. Oh, <laughs> you started to denounce me. <laughs> <laughs> How far did I get? Do I get the advancement? Let me know. Yeah, sure, man. <laughs> no, no. I mean, you stopped. Me. That uh, was okay. your whole point, right? Uh, I would say you stop. You stop if you want to denounce him now. I'll, get, I'll, I'll definitely get around. I'm not openly. Uh, yeah, that's right. true. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, man. No, no, it's not you. <laughs> I just want to make sure because I just. So what do you want to? All right. Well then, that, that that's a little bit different. And he just said, um, I, I think he takes like the point of the sword and puts. Do you have like wear like an emblem or a badge or something like that? It's the. It's just the uniform, basically. Okay, and the uniform you said is like. 
It, it's it's basically just like a work like a oh. like a stylized workers like uh, Doros. Oh, character. then I then I think he like he like takes the sword and like starts to try to like like cut the buttons to like like peel it off of you. Okay. okay, I'm gonna spend my hold. Okay, and the power whispers in your ear and says, "Use this. Phone. Make whatever concessions you need to. Denounce me. Doesn't matter. Just accomplish the goal." So basically, he's, he's just asking you a small favor. Go ahead and and, and blaspheme. Like blas- he's actually asking you to blaspheme. Okay. In order to manipulate him, it wants to. It wants this thing to happen. It wants to see you accomplish this. So it's it's, wants it's see me. I'm sorry. I want to see me. It's giving. It's giving you. It, it, it thinks that maybe he can. He knows that. It knows that he can help you find what it wants you to find. Right. And so it feels that your ego, as a servant, if it's servant, is getting in the way of this, and it goes. If you are truly loyal to me, your ego shouldn't matter. Abase yourself. Denounce me. Do what you need to do to do to to, to accomplish the goal. Okay. Um. All right. In that case, you didn't know that you found a scar in man. I am going to. So as you're doing that, mm-hmm. uh, Slate is going to. He's going to. Uh, Offer you protection oh, from his order. Like it, they, they, they will protect you. Like for a uh, basically, it's a like a pass, right? He's gonna. We will come to your aid if you find this item. If you find this item for us. If you promise to. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's the George Washington song. You remember that? Uh, so basically, they will. You know, I'm offering our protection, our, our protection. If you find, do what I want you to do right now. So, so I'm trying. I'm trying to persuade with leverage. Yeah, sounds good. Well, what, f- f- how do you phrase that exactly? Like, like find this thing for me, and we and we will. I have okay. So I am giving in to him. So he okay. right because he's right because we don't we have not gotten along. Okay, I am willing to not only. Ignore what he's currently done and yeah. doing to me, but I'm offering to give him our, you know, to work for him for yeah. something. Car blunt, you're like, I owe you a debt, and I'll do something for you, no questions asked. Exactly, that is tempting because you know that his influence is pretty wide. Like, I mean, he he's he can do things that you can't do. Like, you know, you've got your your skilled artisans, and they're they're all over the place. You know, um, they, they pervade this city society. Well, not just that. We have the magic. I mean, we have the arcane abilities and everything yeah, else. Yeah, there's so. that too. So that definitely sounds like something that's attractive. So I would I would roll and, with Wiley. And on top of that, we also have access to Doros and stuff like that. Yeah. And that levels of society. Yeah. That sounds like leverage. I'm, 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 going, I'm going with it. That would be a 12. Holy shit. Um, for PC targets on a 10 plus, you get both below. If the target does or says what you want, you may choose to give them one advancement point. If the target refuses, you may make a refuse obligation, duty, or debt roll. So if you do what he says, you get advancement, and if you don't, then you have to mm-hmm. do that thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just too good. Okay. And it's also an ego boost for you. Like, I think. Oh god. I think his response is like, um, like he like, he like cuts one or two of the buttons and then rips the shirt off of him, mm-hmm. and then he says, um, and then he says, oh, oh, I know exactly what he says, and he says, one of their axes for the banner. And he says, "Oh, oh, I'll get you. Uh, I'll get you the banner you're looking for." All right, all right. All right. I'm gonna spend one of my hold on you. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, so when I gave you counsel earlier, maybe. Uh, r- real quick, just as a thing. I don't know if Rook knows what he's talking about, or is this like a widely enough known? You have thing? to ex- well, uh, you you can yeah. go to your faction and you and you can find out about it because that okay. is we already I, we've established it's contraband. It was hidden, and and you can call on your faction to uh, to probably find out where it is if it's something that um, if there was a banner or it's, a, it's an old relic of the old uh-huh. war. 
Yeah, you've got you've got all kinds of connections. Okay. Yeah. I'm fine. Uh, I'm I'm gonna offer you an advancement point to rack him out also. Or like to you? tattle on him basically. To Two you? guards or me or whoever. Oh, I mean, I, uh, yes, I was going to do that anyway. We're kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll take the after, experience as well. After, after though, <laughs> right? I mean, do you, is it right now? Or it's is just it? in general. I'll okay. make it. <laughs> okay. Whatever. The time do I get it now or when I actually do it? Um, I would say now. I mean, it, I mean, it really doesn't matter much. I just want to... I'll put it in now since I I'm, I fully was going to do that anyway. Oh, when, oh I guess when you... Um, when I do it? I always say it's a true thing. you were say something when you do it. Of, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You get it. So there's two standing things. You bring the banner, experience. You rat him out, experience. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, all right, okay. So um, that's that's on, the, that's on the timetable as well, doing that. Do you? I want to go back to you guys and see if there's anything you guys want to do. Is there anything you want to, like a follow-up thing or any activities you want I'm, to take? I'm getting ready because I'm riding out to Rook's camp because basically it's like, go take care of this fucking situation. Okay. All right, and he's going to keep running rampant. Um, until I go out there and I'm like, this is the, this is over. Well, that that sounds perfect. You have to go back mm-hmm. to the Enverance to find out about that banner if that's what you want to do. Yeah. Okay. So while you're going back to do that, I'm going to have him come in as you're getting in contact with your faction. Sure. And I think I think the way when Rook comes back, um, and just he, FYI, Slate is coming with you. Wait, you're coming with him? Yeah, we have a deal. <laughs> no, said, no, that's that's not part of the deal. Yeah. He says no. What? If you? Yeah. No, we don't. And, and that's a se- that's yeah. a separate thing. That's a separate thing. What's a separate thing? The se- that would be a separate thing. You persuade with yeah. leverage that he would go get you, he would get you the banner and bring it to you. Yeah. Yes. You going with him would be a separate thing. Okay. Okay. All so right. you want to make a separate thing to try to persuade? Okay. He's like as you literally he's like no no I'm coming with you. No, it's uh, not me saying that. I'm just not. It's just like before. Oh, you're following not, him. <laughs> I'm just not leaving his side. I, okay. Right, yeah. Hop on a horse and I ride away. Well, I mean, you had me on your horse. No, I think, I think there's an easy solution to that problem, though, right? <laughs> Go for it. If you want to kill me, fine. No, no, no. He just wants to dump you off the horse. That's but, fine. That's if you want to choose to do that, that's fine. But okay, if, I kill him. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna murder. I'm gonna murder Slate. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah. all right. It's 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 it, it works out well. Oh. I know it, it's a it's a reversal of a lot of the stuff that we've done. So if we got to go back through right. and say like, okay, well now we'll make like the under duress roll. Does, I, it, I, does, I, he I, have, does that mean he's refusing my obligation? Yeah, that would be that would be a refusal because you cannot deliver that thing to him then. Sure. All right. So go ahead and roll. You can spend honor if you want. You want to spend honor? Before you roll, I just I just made the roll, um, but. No, I'm good. It doesn't seem very honorable. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What'd you get? I got an eight. You got an eight. You pick mm-hmm. one. Do you feel guilty or conflicted? Take negative one, or you seem ignoble. I hold one, and I spend it. Have someone you interact with heard whisperings that you can't be trusted. Those both sound awesome. That's um, so you pick one of those. Two days less the basic move. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, the honor moves. Is that what that is, or is this the just like a regular missed move? No, no, you, you didn't miss the move. You got a, you got a, an eight, right? Mm-hmm. So you pick one of those two. So um, you either feel guilty, and I would say that you feel guilty about murdering him, like kind of like this. So you would take a negative one forward to try to murder him. Okay. Or you seem ignoble, and I hold one, and then I can spend it to get that out in the either that, you know, you yeah. that you, they find out about this, and you're like, that guy just murdered some dude. Yeah. You know, he, like, he, like, he, he feels kind of bad about it. But he's in, in part because he's like, he's like, like this, this sad sack just won't leave me alone. All right. Yeah. So, so you're feeling conflicted. Mm-hmm. All right. So you take a negative one forward. So you're going to try to engage in combat. Are, are, you, you, are, are you are you fighting back or are you just like like cut me down and I will become more powerful than you? Can <laughs> like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know where you're going with this here. Uh, I wasn't going anywhere. He attacked me, so I mean, right. But, but when, know, he, when he has his sword, yeah, are, you, are, are you capable of fighting like, back in this situation? Do, are, are you? Yeah, going to? I mean, no. I, I will defend myself. Okay. Well, then that's but, that's still that's that's, that's yeah. fighting back and trying to like, okay. not get killed. Right. So uh, go ahead and roll. You roll with uh, fierce, but you have negative one as okay. well. Um, I got Rook. an 11. 
All right, with 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 the negative and all that. Mm-hmm. All right, um, so you take one of the following. You attack with vigor. You parry their blows. You battle aggressively. You fight defensively. In addition, you either stymie your opponent, you're oppressive or dominant, or you achieve a goal. Oh, there is an interfere move too. Yeah, there's an interfere move. So I guess. Wait, well, yeah, actually, that one because he got an eleven, so that wouldn't actually help. Yeah. We just drop it to 10, I think. Yeah. So I think I'm stymieing my opponent. They have to change their behavior. He's certainly not following me. Okay. In any capacity. That's what you want to achieve. Okay. Yeah. Um, And then you you pick one of those where you either attack with vigor, you parry their blows, you battle aggressively, or you battle defensively. I don't know about that. I think he wouldn't be uh, battling aggressively in part because he doesn't think he needs to. Yeah. I already Maybe. said I wasn't battling aggressively anyway. Oh, no, I'm saying for me. Yeah, oh, this okay. isn't for, yeah. yeah. for you at all. Sorry. No, you're good. Yeah, I don't think he would be battling aggressively. I think he would just be attacking with vigor. Okay. Like thinking like, oh, this is, like, all I have to do is just fucking stab this idiot and What's then I'm off. your normal harm? I don't know. <laughs> sure, it's under your gear, your weapon. It's probably going to be like two. I don't know. Maybe three. It's a sword of some kind. It says two weapons. One for close combat, one for ranged. All right. So whatever a sword is. Yep. Do you know what that is off the top of your head? I'm just going to say it's a it's a, it's a two harm. Yeah, I think, I think that that's the... That's so, it, so it gets a plus one because you're tagging with vigor, so it's three mm-hmm. harm. It's okay. okay, I took weekend, so... Okay, you took weekend. Yeah. Um, and then you would trade harm... Like, you would do one harm, I imagine, unless you have a weapon of some sort. I, well, I have a staff, but I imagine I don't have it in my hand, since he had just knocked me out. It, it, does, it doesn't matter. You're trying to ward and yeah. close. Like, like, he, so like he could twist his at, ankle or he could twist his hand yeah. or something. Like, you're, you're going to trade some blow. Like, you're going to trade some damage mm-hmm. with him. Well, if I have to, I, I, I mean, I'll do... I mean, it's just one harm, so... Yeah. yeah. So okay. you, take, you take one harm just from, like, you know, combat-related bruises... Um, okay. Unless you have armor, I think I, I do. I have this the one armor. Then you don't have like to worry about it. Armor. It just yeah. absorbs all that stuff, and then you 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 pretty much you you knock him down, and you take that scar, and then he rides off once yeah. he knocks you down. Thanks for listening this episode of This American Dice presenting Scup, The Sword, The Crown, The Unspeakable Power, live at CondoCon. The Sword, The Crown, The Unspeakable Power is a game by Wheeltree Press. Please join us again for another exciting episode of This American Dice. Hey everybody, if you could please rate, review, and subscribe to our show on your favorite podcatcher, it would really help This American Dice. And for every five-star review we receive, we'll read it on air. Join us next week for another episode of This American Dice.